Hey, what's up? It's Jim, and I just got back from the new film Midnight in Paris. This is the latest film from Woody Allen. Now, this uh, film is about a young man played by Owen Wilson, who is a Hollywood screenwriter, and he is on vacation in Paris with his fiance and her parents. And he's like, he's just kind of tagging along where they look at go antiquing. He starts walking around Paris, and then he eventually, when he's walking around at night one night by himself, he finds a magical cab that will take him back to the Paris of the 1920s and he meets Ernest Hemingway and Salvador Dali and F. Scott Fitzgerald and Zelda Fitzgerald and goes on this amazing nostalgic awesome experience where he meets a costume designer played by Marianne Cotillard who's very beautiful. It really had a magical sense of wonder about a city that I really haven't seen him do with the city in a long time. But I think this film kind of shows like a real sense of wonder about a city and a romanticism about a city. It was kind of nice to see that again. This film almost had it all. It had like great actors all throughout. Adrian Brody does a great Salvador Dali. Um, Kathy Bates is in it as Gertrude Stein and she's just amazing. There was no one who I really thought was bad. I mean, maybe Rachel McAdams is really playing a role that's an atypical Woody Allen kind of girlfriend role, but I thought she was good. So many people have done the Woody Allen type in a movie because for some reason Woody Allen doesn't want to be in this. Well, I guess he's now he's too old. And Owen Wilson, I guess, is that. I really haven't seen anyone in a long time make this role his own and he's not just impersonating Woody Allen. I think Owen Wilson's kind of temperament works with that. I thought he was really good and really had a good sense of wonder. You know, for someone who's going back into Paris in the 1920s, you really need to convey that sense of wonder. And Owen Wilson does that like perfectly and really magically. I mean, I. I really smiled throughout this whole film. This film really gave me a very positive feeling. It was just like very glamorous. It was nice. It reminded me of an old Hollywood movie um, or a good old Hollywood movie. I like kind of the fantasy of it, but this, this guy who really liked going to nostalgia shops and really like the past. I think a lot of people now have this wonder about the 80s or the 70s, and I'm sure people, the younger people think about the 90s, and people will think about the 2000s, and even the 2010s in 34 years. That's just natural, and I like that this film really got into that in a fun kind of beautiful way, you know. Sure, Woody Allen's seen better days, and I could analyze this film and basically tell you it's not as good as I personally liked it, but I don't want you to think about that. There's certain plot points that are very atypical Woody Allen, and some people could view that as bland, but I didn't. I, I found it very refreshing, and maybe, you know, maybe it's good for Woody Allen to make kind of Woody Allen-esque movies. The reason Paris works so much better is New York really isn't as cool as it was in the 70s, so, you know, how are you really gonna make a movie like this in New York anymore? With, with gentrification and sex in the city and everything. It's just not as interesting. And I think Paris is always a romanticized city. I mean, it's always will be, and it always has been. It would be so lame, it, you know, having like, oh, there's Ernest Hemingway, and there's F. Scott Fitzgerald, and there's Dali, but everyone pulls it off. Like, everyone, like, I, I didn't really doubt it, so much and that i think that's probably one of the harder things to pull off was getting the authenticity of all these characters or even like having boone well in it i was like oh my god boone well if you like a good woody allen movie i absolutely recommend this i i i without a doubt think this is maybe his best film since sweet and low down that i've really just i, I like this more than match point and big christina barcelona it kind of actually made me believe that he wasn't just churning them out like this is a film he really believed in and he had a lot of passion in you know i think woody allen you know he doesn't look like the most passionate person in the world but i think he is his films are very passionate and he has a lot of emotions that he's very passionate about and i think this is a film that you know his passion was like exuding from and it's just a wonderful thing to see it's it's such a great fantasy that at midnight in paris a car would come for you pick you up you know and drive you to 1920s paris where you'd meet and be friends with ernest hemingway and pablo picasso F. Scott Fitzgerald. So if you have seen Midnight in Paris and you would like to talk about it, then comment below in the comments and subscribe if you would like to.